What is going on guys, it's Stab, and today we're going against my boy Trev, Trev and Force, his link will be in the description, and we're going OU, and I bring a pretty powerful team with a Mega Altaria, and he's got a interesting team with a uh, Porygazi and a Mega Metagross, so we're going to go ahead and get in the battle, he leads off of Rotom Heat, which I thought he might do, so I'm going to lead off of Mammoth Swine. I was going to lead off with uh, Rotom Wash, but I didn't want him to potentially lead off of Excadrill, and just click Earthquake and kill me because I'm Mole Breaker. So I go out to Rotom Wash and I go for the Will-O-Wisp and I predicted him to switch into Excadrill thinking that I wouldn't be able to do anything to him but unfortunately he just burns me with his Will-O-Wisp. He's going to make a switch out into, uh, what do you call it, Tornadus and I believe I just go for the Hydro Pump. I get off a decent amount of damage considering that this is a Soul Vest uh, Tornadus. I did get some left recovery. I am especially defensive Rotom, and that may come into play uh, later in the match. I'm going to get the Leftover Recovery, and I also take Burn Damage, which negates that. And he's just going to go back out into Rotom Heat as I go for the Will-O-Wisp. I thought I would get Residual Damage on, uh, on uh, Tornadus, but it turns out that Hydro Pump was probably a better play at that point, just because if he'd switched back in the room, I would have been hitting it hard. If he'd gone back to his drill, I would have uh, been hitting it hard as well. Uh, he goes into Porygon Z here, and I believe I just go for the full switch. This full switch does actually a good amount of damage, considering I have no investment at all. Um, full switching out into Ferrothorn, I believe, just get my Stealth Rocks, potentially. Uh, because he does have Rotom Heat, and I'll be able to wear it on Metagross a little bit, and it's just going to be uh, general good hazard control. I know he has Latias, but he has to wait the turn to come in and defog if that's what he chooses to do. I do set up the rocks as he brings in the Rotom Heat. Here, I thought he might predict me to switch into Mammoth Swine and would not go for the Overheat and instead go for the Volt Switch, in which case I would be able to block with Mammoth Swine being half ground, but he just goes for a safe play. And goes for the overheat. Of course, it is able to knock out my uh, Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn would have been useful to T-Wave his Metagross, but as you're going to see, it doesn't end up mattering that much. And now he goes out into. I go out into my Meloetta. I know that I, uh, a Charge Beam obviously won't kill, but because I'm a Soul Vest, this Volt Switch should be eaten up. And sure enough, it is. And I do get a plus one raise from that um, Charge Beam. And now he goes out to Exedrill. Um, here it was actually pretty funny in the match. Um, I was trying to decide which one of my attacks did the most damage at plus one. And he go ends up going for Iron Head, which does a lot more than I expected to. Anyway, I was trying to figure out which one of my attacks did the most damage. And what ended up happening was I ran out of time while I was calcing it. And it randomly clicked uh, Psy Shock. I get a crit, which kind of solved it. And at this point in the game, that may not matter. Or at least that's what I thought at the time. Here I make another risky play. Well, not another risky play, but this is pretty risky. I thought he might be Choice Scarfed, so I switch on my Rotom, knowing that he won't be able to kill me at all with Iron Head. Um, I believe I go for the Hydro Pump this time, I'm hoping. Uh, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I? I honestly don't remember. Uh, Latios does take uh, some rocks damage, and I do go for the Hydro Pump, and this does almost nothing to Latios. I figure I'm at the health range where after burn, he can definitely take me out with Psy Shock, and I need the free switch more than I need Rotom around, so I'm just going to let him go down to a Psy Shock, and this will tell me what Latios, Latios he is too. And he ends up being... Just a standard life orb variant. And then I'm going to go out to Mammoth Swine because I figure at this range I will be able to just click Ice Shard and uh, knock him out. And he should have probably defogged on my Rotom because as you'll see at the end of the battle the rocks actually do hurt him quite a bit. But he stays in, he dies to um, the Ice Shard. Now he brings a Porygon Z. And this was actually funny because I was in call with him during the battle. I told him that this crit that I'm about to get on this ice shard on the Porygon doesn't actually matter because I'm adamant life for Mammoth Swine. And I baited him successfully because now, thinking that I'm adamant and he'll definitely outspeed me even before Mega Evolution, he's going to go out to Metagross. But, <laughs> psych, that's the wrong, <laughs> that's the wrong nature there as I'm going to go 
for the Earthquake being Jolly. I will outspeed him before the uh, Mega Speed takes over the next turn, and he loses Metagross basically because I was <laughs> because I lied. Got him. And uh, Metagross goes down, does absolutely nothing. And at that point, that was really important. The Metagross died because with Rotom Wash and Therathorn both knocked out already, I had nothing else on my team to uh, take any of Metagross's attacks. Uh, a safer play, in my opinion, would have been to go for the Bullet Punch just to get all damage. I'm not sure if I would have died, but considering that Bullet Punch is stab and it's uh, affected by Tough Claws, I probably would have. Um, I go out to Meloetta. And he goes for Willows. I counter predicted Willows, but at the same time, I thought that there was a slight chance I might be able to take Overheat being a Soul Visit, which actually was not true after I calc it after the game. Um, he's going to stay in here, as I do take a little bit of burn damage. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. This is actually really important because it puts him in a range where now he can't switch out and switch back in because he'll die to rocks. He goes for Full Switch, I guess, because he needed the initiative. Or that was the only thing that he could kill me with. Uh, I'm not sure if he thought that plus uh, minus one overheat would do enough. But he goes out to Tornadus. And he actually still had a chance to win at this point. Just because I do have to go for Icicle Crash. Which does have a chance to miss. And he will outspeed me. And as you can see he doesn't have Hurricane. He has um, Air Slash. And if he gets the flinch that is obviously going to be a 2 a KO. But luckily for me he actually does not end up getting the flinch. And... He's going to go down to the, uh, to, to the Ice of Crash. I <laughs> forgot what the name of the attack was for a second. Anyway, uh, now, it brings out Exit Drill, which at this point, it's pretty much Mammoth Swan cleaning up because I'm just going to click the Safe Ice Shard, and he will go down. Uh, this ended up being banned at Exit Drill, which I didn't know at the time, but he was choice. He just wasn't Scarf like I thought. Uh, I believe his last Pokemon is the Rotom, which is just going to switch in here and die to the Stealth Rocks. So, that's going to be a solid 3-0 over Treb. The uh, crit on the Exedrill actually mattered just because it put it in a range where he couldn't safely go for the Earthquake and knock out my Mammoth Mine at that point. But, if you guys enjoyed this battle, go ahead and leave a like. I do shoot for usually t 5 or 10 likes on the uh, Wi-Fi battles. And, leave a comment. Uh, comments are always nice. I do read them and I do like when you guys leave comments on the videos. And also, if you enjoy my content, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I'm Stab, and I will see you guys next time.